Civil War Guru Show. My name is Steve Munson, and I am the Civil War Guru. And guess what, guys and gals? We got another cannon, and it's a dandy. This is a bronze cannon, and it's a, I believe it to be a four-pounder. It's a magnificent cannon. It's early cannon. You know, the early uh, four-pounds and three-pound cannons were the workhorses of the Revolutionary War, War of 1812, and even the Mexican War. Then what, what happened to them after the Mexican War? They ended up in these uh, little towns and the militias ended up with them. And what I'm doing is I'm holding a picture here of a cannon similar to this, similar size. And actually this fo uh, photo was taken in Cincinnati right after the war. And Brendan's gonna get up close to it so you can see it's got about half a dozen guys in it and they're holding different, different rifles and shotguns. And one guy's got a converted hull uh, rifle and another guy's got a infill musket and uh, one guy's got an 1840 uh, dragoon sword but it has one of these size cannons in the picture and and this photo behind it is done in Covington Kentucky which is right across from Cincinnati and you can tell by their costumes or, or their outfits it's a little after the war but they're carrying the Civil War uh, some of them are carrying the Civil War equipment it's pretty cool but this gives you a size from an original photograph of a cannon this size. And this, this one here actually come out of the uh, mountains of North Carolina and Georgia. It's fantastic. It's got a 39, almost 40 inch barrel. Weighs about 600 pounds, you know, uh, wrestling with it. It's got a, a, a split tongue trail on it, which is a, two supports, which is the early style. And a lot of the original hardware, and I believe that the, the, the center section there to be original. I believe the wheels, of course, are replacement because they had a high mortality rate. But these guns were used throughout the war from the War of 1812, actually back to the Revolutionary War. This one's, uh, uh, I'd say, it was probably made in the 1830s, 1840s. And, and I do believe it to be American made. It's uh, unfortunately the War of Marks, but it's magnificently made. And it has the reinforcing band uh, around the trunnions. And uh, the, the trenches are, are just about the same diameter as board. But fantastic, and a lot of original iron, which really excites me. But this, this will give you an idea. Uh, this is a very similar cannon. And, and the, these cannons were manufactured by, of course, the, the, the big guys. And they were small foundries, especially in Ohio. There was a small foundry right north of Cincinnati there that made a lot of cast iron. So, you know, uh, uh, where this come from, they believe it was made in Columbus, Georgia. Uh, I don't have any documents to support that. It's really a cool gun. Got super patina. They said it was used in the Civil War, and, and I do believe that because these things were, were never out of service. Like I say, they, they fought in their time period, and then they went to these small towns, and there's pictures just like this in uh, Miller's books where the, the small town militias had their little cannon, and some of them were brought back from Mexico and uh, left over from the, from the Revolutionary War to, to you know, the uh, War of 1812 and, uh, and the Civil War. And ironically, uh, you know, doing the research on them, uh, the three and four pounders, you know, were big in uh, the War of 1812, because you could move them, you know, you know, you could take a crew and move them around. And the big guns, they just couldn't do it. And, and I guess one of the things that really sparked my interest on this particular one here, and, and, and I, I'm a, Alamo nut, and they had two of these bronze guns there in front of the chapel there during, uh, during the, the siege there. And uh, so, you know, this is the time frame that they use right here. It's a super gun. Uh, these styles uh, hardly come up for sale, especially when, you know, that has a lot of the original hardware on it, if not the original, you know, uh, uh, center section here. So uh, these things are extremely rare. Uh, they won't command uh, what names or a size they'll bring. You know, they'll bring double what this brings. But this, this is a $20,000, $25,000 can. It, and I know you're all laughing about uh, the blue color. Well, the blue color was used from the uh, uh, War of 1812 up to the Mexican War. And, uh, and, and also, I, if you go to, to New Orleans and go to the battlefield, the, the, the Battle of New Orleans, they have this type of cannon there with the blue carriages and the same I, I, it's sky blue, I, I call it North Carolina blue. But anyway, uh, it, it's a magnificent cannon and, and we were happy to you know, be able to, 
to get my grandson who's off school right now to come in and, and do the video. And he's going to get some close-ups. He's also going to get close-ups of the, the picture, which is cool because, you know, there's a converted hall uh, rifle in there, which is pretty neat. And uh, an infield musket, an 1840 uh, calf sword. And these guys in their, in their country bunk and uniforms or costumes. And it's pretty neat, but it's right after the war. And you know it could have been uh, in you know near Cincinnati they had the Turner rifles up there, which is a big German group because one of the guns in there, the shotguns, looks to be German, and very possibly would be that. But anyway, it, it's exciting for me. I always have fun uh, with artillery, and and this has been a uh, you know so far this year we've handled some great artillery, and uh, and so you know this is another great piece that, that you know we get to, to share with you. So from the Civil War guru. You have a great day.